Hello guys, this is Rajvi Singh from NFI and uh, I'm very glad to announce that I'm going to start Schneider PLC lessons in these videos. So this is the software which I'm going to use, Zelio Soft 2 and you may find this software in our website. You can download that under secure login page. Uh, this is one of the greatest software I've seen in simulation mode. So I'm not using a PLC here. I won't show you the live PLC. I'll just show you the simulation mode. So you can also use the software to to understand to learn PLC. It doesn't matter which language you are using, which PLC brand you are using, but you can actually simulate your logics in a very interactive way in the software. So let's see how does it work and how we can, you know, make some logics in this interactive environment. So I'm going to start with create new program. Once you open the software, you'll have this window, welcome screen. So move on to create new program. It will ask you for the type of PLC. So randomly you can select this one, this PLC. All right, so you can select this model. 24 VDC, 10 discrete. So it is having eight relay outputs, all right? And it is having two analog discrete channels, two analog inputs, which is zero to 10 volts, all right? So we can use this one. Going to next. And now, this part of the program, this is a ladder, ladder logic, all right? So ladder logic, you might understand which we make the letters and we make the logics, all right? So let's see, let's understand the software first. Then in further videos, I'll explain you how to work how to make later logics and how we can make different logics in this Schneider PLC. So in this software, you have to go to file, you'll find some various options, new, open, close, all right? And this is the later entry. You can select different windows from here. The first one is Zelio entry, all right? In case if you are using a PLC, you want to write something here, you can make a logic on this on onboard PLC, okay? Using that, this is again simulation thing. You can also simulate that here. And then comes the later entry. This is the main entry by which you make the program in the computer and you download that into a PLC that we use a later entry then some configuration of your program if the function you are using it you'll find the names here you can also see the status of this the function which you are using 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 this monitor display program consistency then you have some text entry to add the comments you can add you can add your comments to these inputs and outputs all right so going back to later entry let's see what are the different variables we can have it here first is the i this is I1, I2, up to IC. So this I1 represent your inputs, your input contacts. So if you're connecting any limit switches or NO switches or NC switches to your PLC, you can take the addressing from here like this. You just have to drag the inputs. Like click on this one and drag it here. So you have two outputs here, so I'm link this one. So this is my input I1. So if my I1 is on outside the PLC, this contact will be closed. So with that, if I want to turn on the output, I can take, now these I is my input. We have like 9, 10, and 12 inputs. Okay, 12 inputs in this PLC. Then this M stands for memory bits. Internal memory, you have 28 internal memory in this PLC. And you'll find different symbols here. I'll come to these symbols. Then with Q, you have output. T stands for timers. This is for counters, this is for fast counters, then come your comparators, you can find the symbol of comparator, and this is analog comparators. So now let's see one, one by one. This is what, this was your input, and you can write a comment here. Let me write it as start, okay? Now you'll find this small message box here. If you click on this one, it will show you the comment. This is the start button. This is the line, and just clicking it again, it will delete that. It's so simple as that. Now let's take, <coughs> an output first okay so to take the output contact output relay you have to take this one now this q1 stands for contact you can take contact like this this is the no contact now if you want to turn this into nc just press spacebar like this by pressing spacebar you can change the no and nc state same in that case and you'll notice one thing if i press spacebar when it is nc this changes to small letters small sensitive area okay it's 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 not the capital Q, it's the small Q. If it is NO, it is a capital Q. So that also specify whether you're using NO or NC, all right? So to attach this in parallel, you can just click this one. Now, this is the, this is the actually output. You can take this here, sorry, not here. This is the coil area, right? You can take the output, you have to click the line here. This is the, con this is the line, this is the output, and you can, Make a contact. You make, make a comment here. Sorry. So it's you can see that latching. So this is my latching. So I've written comment latching. So this is the comment section, output section. These are your input contact sections. So you can add anything you want here. Now, how to simulate this one? 
Now we, we have various outputs here like impulse outputs, set and reset. We'll come to that in further videos here. I'm just explaining how to work on the software. So let's see, this is my example. Now let's have one more input to unlatch this one. So in that case, I'm taking NC, high to NC, okay? So that's it. Now you have to go to simulation here. Now you'll find these two discrete input and output here just to simulate this environment, okay? So this is what, what is, uh, you know, very interactive. Now, right now, you'll see at the stop mode, you have to click on run. <clears throat> now you'll see this moving. This means it's running, but it is at the simulation mode. Now, this was my I1. I can click on this one, and I have my Q1 on, which is here. Q1 is on. If I release this one, it will remain on because this is latched. So if I press I2 here, this will unlatch this. The output is now unlatched. The, the slamp is off. Now click it again. This is latched, unlatched, latched, unlatched. So you can do you have you know, the best thing is you have different input buttons here in the simulator. You don't you don't have to go here and press the click button. Although you can do that, but you have some interactivity. You have the lamps already here. So that's why I prefer you. This is one of the great simulator available by which you can learn your PLC logic. You can make the logic. You can understand from that. And apart from that, you also have different uh, timings and day settings in case if you're using, using real-time clocks you can use that and you'll also find analog comparators in case if I'm using those commands and you'll find some simulation window for analog comparators as well that will make it really interesting so that was the little basic about the environment of Shinari PLC now if you have to make some changes go to stop then go to edit mode this is the edit mode this is the simulation mode now you can make the changes you can do you can turn on two outputs like this let me just show you. I can take another output, connect like this. Just go to simulation, run, that's it. Now two outputs are latched. Okay. So I hope you find it very interesting and too, very you know, creative way of learning this PLC simulation. So that is all about understanding the environment of Shinari PLC. In further Lessons, let's see how to work on different commands.